My son Matthew did not look like a winner. <clears throat> he was rather uncoordinated and more gracious from the age of 13 until the day he died. However, in his all too brief life, he proved that he was a winner. On October 6th, 1998, he tried to show the world that he could win again. On October 12, 1998, my firstborn son, my hero, lost. On October 12, 1998, my firstborn son, my hero, died. 50 days before his 22nd birthday. I keep wondering the same thing that I did when I first saw him in the hospital. What would he have become? How could he have changed his little piece of the world to make it better? Matt officially died <coughs> in a hospital in Fort Collins, Colorado. He actually died in the outskirts of Laramie, tied to a fence. You, Mr. McKinney, and your friend, Mr. Henderson, left him there by himself. But he wasn't alone. There were his lifelong friends with him, friends that he had grown up with. You're probably wondering, <clears throat> who these friends were. First, he had the beautiful night sky and the same stars and moon that we used to see through a telescope. Then he had the daylight and the sun to shine on him. And through it all, he was breathing in the scent of the pine trees from the snowy range. He heard the wind, the ever-present Wyoming wind, for the last time. He had one more friend with him. He had God. And I feel better knowing he wasn't alone. Matt's beating, hospitalization, and funeral focus worldwide attention on hate. Good is coming out of evil. People have said, enough is enough. I miss my son. But I'm proud to be able to say that he is my son. Judy has been quoted as being against the death penalty. It has been stated that Matt was against the death penalty. Both of these statements are wrong. Matt believed that there were crimes and incidents that justified the death penalty. I too believe in the death penalty. I would like nothing better than to see you die, Mr. McKinney. However, this is the time to begin the healing process, to show mercy to someone who refused to show any mercy. Mr. McKinney, I'm going to grant you life, as hard as it is for me to do so because of Matthew. The time you celebrate Christmas, a birthday, the 4th of July, <clears throat> remember that Matt isn't. The time you wake up in your prison cell, remember, you had the opportunity and the ability to stop your actions that night. You robbed me of something very precious. And I will never forgive you for that. 
McKinney. I give you life in memory of someone who no longer lives. May you have a long life. May you thank Matthew every day for it. <laughs> <laughs>